It's time to crown our next champion. Simon, three betting with the king nine of diamonds against Gonzalez is open. And looks like the shorty's got something to go with. We're going to go, what, pocket eights, perhaps, since we see the eight of spades, but the other one's a mystery. I mean, you'd really hope it's pocket eights after the action that went in front of it. <sighs> yeah, I don't even think ace eight should be in here, given the fact that it has been three bet to him. Action on the side yeah. between Simon and Gonzalez. See it. Thank you. All in and at risk, and we have a 10-9-3 flop, so we know uh, Simon has second pair, decent kicker. He's on the turn. Probably not going to be much action on the side, given that they have the chance, of course, to eliminate Sierra in this spot. Queen on the river. One and out. especially with this run out, of course, no real value that they can try to get out of their opponents with the King Nine, especially. Ooh. Uh, I'm assuming Sice does not have the winning hand. Casimir KO'd. Get your ass out and chat. He had the snowman's. Really putting on a show of our Danian. Three betting and under the gun raise with Ace 10. I mean, they are six-handed. Wow, this has become a four-bet pot. Yeah, it looks like Simone just senses that Vardanian is trying to put on a show and the type that's going to go for some light three bets. Nine, eight. <sighs> it was not the end of the hand. Is that a five bet? Oh, my God. What year is this? 2011? Yeah, these players willing to go for it. Yeah, about two. Two yeah. tables left Three. here. Five. All in. Oh, oh <laughs> my god. Wasted gosh. no time then. Wow. Six bet jam from Simon. The mm. fold from Vardanian. Well, Simon finds himself in the same situation that Kuznetsov is in the last hand. King Queen in the small blind. And he's going to shove. Gonzalez in the big. Calls oh, wow. with nines. And we do have another coin flip. Uh, King of the Queen. Like Barbie versus Oppenheimer. One of these two things has a slight mathematical advantage. This time, Gilly has to win the flip to survive. <laughs> huh? oh, that's sweet. Ah, oh. oh, two queens, also two diamonds. I will say one nine has been folded by Kuznetsov on the button, but those diamonds are some potential. Yeah, you want to keep me? Yeah, some straights <laughs> too. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. We could see a lot of sweaty turn cards. That is one of them. That is the sweaty turn card yeah, of all the cards. Oh. That is the sweatiest right. turn card. That is sweatier than the movie yeah, Alien. Card, so now, crazy. Gilles Simon has to fade <laughs> any diamond, any 10, <laughs> and the case nine. <laughs> the river is the three of spades. And we see Gilles Simon double up through the chip leader. No Gilles Simone, 9 8 suited. I would be surprised if you didn't want to play this one, Joe, as our chip leader. Cheeky little min raise, no problem at all. Ace 4 in the big blind for Tass Zurek. He's going to defend off the 27 big blind stack. Gilles has got Tass Zurek covered by a significant margin. Ace, deuce, deuce, top pair for Tass Zurek. Tajarek checks to the player who last aggressed. And that player is going to continuation bet, a.k.a. continue that preflop aggression right into top pair. Just the one big blind, but that's usually enough to get the job done. You're not going to get an ace to fold for the one, but let's see how it goes to the turn. Five on the turn. That leaves Simone with no way to win this hand at showdown. Checks to Simone, who does not slow down. Fires 1.2 million into 1.8, two thirds pot. And I can't imagine Tazarek's too upset about this. 
Especially, Cut. especially with the gut shot, Joe. Yeah. Cuts out the call. And this is the biggest pot we've seen for a while, especially one played through the streets. Over four million in the middle. River card is a ten. So Simone left with nine high. Will Simone wave the white flag or run into the buzzsaw? We saw Tajarek lay down the best hand for his turn. Tournament life once before. Simone puts him to the test again. Yeah, he's. And Tajarek did fold oh, again. Wow. wow. Simone gets away with a huge one. Dato versus Simone in another big post flop flip here. A pair of tens for Dato. Big old diamond draw for Simone. Check. Check, check on the flop. Eight of hearts on the turn. Board gets straight here. Simone's gonna fire now. Dato checking back that flop so that he could pick off some of these stabs, I think, quite easily. There is a four liner out there, so that's gonna make the pair of tens a little uncomfortable, but you can certainly see why he's gonna make the call and decide on the river. And this pot's getting pretty big as well. Three and a half million out there now. <laughs> Final card is a six. Five, six, seven, eight. Nope. Not a straight for Simone. Not this time. I think facing another sizable barrel, he will definitely have to Ooh. fold the pair of tens. I, this. That's a sizable barrel. The sizing two million. Yeah. It, it's. I really think that it could get the job done here. Mm -hmm. I was just going to say you got to give it up to Simone for even willing to follow through. I can't imagine Dato. Oh. Pass. Simone bluffs Dato off the best hand. <sighs> Loving the lack of animosity between these two. Andrea yeah, Dato. Ace queen. In the small blind. First to act pre-flop, last to act after the flop when your head's up. And interesting to see Dato establish a limping strategy early on with the ace-queen off. I think that's um, going to indicate that that's going to be a lot of what his intention will be if he's not going to raise a hand like ace-queen as he allows Simone to see a free wow. flop and flop two pair. Bottom two for Simone. And a hand for Dato that could easily get to showdown. But without not, a pair. Yeah, not a hand. I think he's going to be thrilled. Listen, Simone has hit it hard here. And I don't think Dato is going to get too stubborn here. We do see, in fact, a call. So already a super interesting hand and a tricky spot for Andrea to na navigate. And that eight is probably good news for Andrea. Card that he's going to be able to fold to a big barrel. Three million. Three million. Not the way you want to start the heads up battle losing a seven million chip pot, but. I don't know what your options are at this point. Wow, an option chosen is call from Andrea Dato. Wow, this pot's getting real big already. First hand of heads up. Not a believer, thinking Simone is repping too thin with these big check raises, all the club draws, all those straight draws. And, and Andrea's going to hate this river card. But so you're saying this start. four is a bad card for Simone? Yeah in the context of ever getting any more value. I mean, if the river was a queen, <laughs> right? Of course. Or, uh, you know, a bear king or something like that, maybe Dato could It'd consider very, making some... a very, very fast heads up. <laughs> <laughs> something tells me it's not going to be. And it doesn't help Dato's cause that he has the queen of clubs either. I mean, if Simone would check it raising the flop with the queen deuce of clubs or the queen six of fast. clubs, yeah, he's got a full now. And after one hand of heads up, the gap has been closed significantly. 
Dotto limping in with King Deuce. Simone with King 10. And so far, not so good for Dato in this heads up. Got right oh, lane, stubborn. Oh, man. Ace oh, man. Queen, and now, absolutely cooler. It's really got to hope for a, a messier run out that maybe has Simone less inclined to go for big value. You know, if we see something like a four on the turn and a seven on the river, Simone could just go for three streets here from a perceived, wow. I was gonna say at this stack depth, do they ever just go for it here with top pair? No, I, I don't think that they would get it in on the flop necessarily, but this is going to inflate the pot quite a bit. I think Simone will probably be interested in just keeping the bluffs in. And then if it is something like a better king, I think Dato's intention would be to probably either bet small on the turn or check back. Oh, that's interesting. Kings and nines now for both players. The 10's still playing for now. Dato with no way to win this hand outright. I'm going to be very curious to see if Andrea just puts out that smallish bet to check back the river or if he's just going to check. pretend that perhaps his hand might have gotten caught in the cookie jar. So that seven on the river means the 10 is going to play. <laughs> wow. Goes for full pot. Doesn't seem particularly afraid of a nine. This is a pretty remarkable value bet from Simone here. Now we've seen many, many, many big laydowns at this final table. Some from Dato, some from other players. So now we have to ask, what is Andrea thinking? And he calls, wow. Dato makes the call, and that is going to leave a mark. Not only does Jill Simone take the chip lead, but they have reversed starting positions. Dude, what a hand, man. It's now world class. It's now Gilles Simone that has a better than two to one chip lead, has almost a three to one chip lead. Action starts with Simone. King eight. Decides just to call. Yep, very reasonable as well. Dato in the big blind with ace jack. One million and six hundred thousand. One point six million, as verbally declared by Andrea. The announcer, Dato. 3.7 million in the middle. Dato with 5.35 behind. The flop is eight high. Advantage, Simon. Gilly is a three to one favorite on this board. SPR looking really low now. 500,000. Half a million chips. 1.5. 3x. The raise from Simon with top pair. Dato moving all in, and Simon announces call, and this could be it. Simon, huge favorite with two cards to come. 76% of the way to a million US dollars. You can see Dato's out. Three aces, three jacks, six cards he can hit to survive. Three on the turn. Gilles Simon is now one card away from winning the first ever EPT Cyprus main event. He and his rail are on the side of the table. Andrea Dato joined by his friends and family as well, waiting for this river card to be dealt. If it is not an ace or a jack, this tournament is over. The river card is a blank. The beer goes flying <laughs> as Gilles Simon wins the EPT Cyprus main event for $1,042,000. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe for more awesome poker content and check out this video. The YouTube algorithm seems confident you'll like it.